Hey guys, it's I Want a Turtle, and today we're going to be opening some Pokemon cards I actually got for Christmas. Um, so we have a Sylveon tin and a three booster pack plus one foil promo card um, that I actually received from my girlfriend and their family. And then after that, we're actually going to be doing something a little different where we're going to start talking about some of the PSA cards that I've obtained uh, over the course of putting together my collection and specifically going through the base set, uh, PSA 9. Uh, a little bit about the collection and why it's kind of like important to me. All right, so first let's just open up uh, these packs. Get into this tin, Sylveon tin, because I did have a Sylveon plush that I keep in keep in the apartment. And so with these, expect to get a wide variety of different boosters. And here's the Sylveon GX promo card. Sylveon is always like a, I feel like it's a pretty cool, actually the last two like evolutions uh, I really like. I, oh, it's like this. Oh, don't want to damage this too much. Alright, not bad. Um, but yeah, Sylveon, Glaceon, I thought um, were pretty cool for, you know, like. I guess like the third set of evolutions to be introduced. Okay, we do have a go card. And let's see, Celestial Storm. Oh nice, two Celestial Storm. It's Crimson Invasion and Roaring Skies. Alright, that's pretty uh that's it's quite good. And then put this off to the side. And then we'll open up the three boosters and one pro or one foil. One foil promo card. It's quite vague. Let's see what we get for that. Fates Collide, Evolutions, and Steam Siege. Let's see, kind of order these. Like that. Alright, so it looks like this card this has a few nicks in it. We'll put them in the sleeve first and before we reveal them. Actually, we'll flip that over last. Put we'll that over there. And let's jump into the Steam Siege. Alright, let's see. Let's try three for this. Anor. Palucha. Iwa. Sida. Blink. I think this guy's available in Pokemon Go now, though I don't have one yet. Mareep, Bergmite, Fungus, Ninja Boy, and then Avalog. When you when all of a sudden I open like some some sets that I don't have much experience with, kind of interesting because um, the last couple generations were uh, ones that I didn't really keep up with uh, so every once in a while you see like when I'm opening up older sets it's like woohoo I don't know a lot of these Pokemon Zygarde? Zygarde's one that like, took me a while to realize that there's just three different forms of them Ammonite, Whimsicott, Binacle, Snubble, Riolu, pretty cool, Deerling, good old Jigglypuff, Solosis, this is one exactly like I'm not very familiar with and Woo, Alkazam EX. And wow, that is very off center. And so this is a texture card as well, which is pretty nice. All right, so definitely got one great pull so far for this opening. Put a perfect fit on it. All right, evolutions. Wouldn't mind a reverse reverse Charizard. My choke. Ah, these ones are always very nostalgic. Full heal. Venusaur Spear Link. Magnemite. Actually, it's funny because a lot. So we'll be talking about. Um, actually, we'll see if we get any of the cards that we'll be talking about in a little bit. 
but just their original versions. Voltorb, the uh, Creo. We will not be talking about this one, but it is a reverse rare. And whoa! Wow. Okay, Mega Charizard EX. Wow, I can't believe we got this. All right. Wow. Awesome. I think um, for as far as like the um, evolution stuff goes, where they took you know the original base set cards and introduced the mega forms as well, the mega evolutions. Um, the so I thought kind of like the base set, the new version of the base set Charizard would be the you know the card to kind of go for. Uh, however, I think it turns out that this is actually the one that everyone wants. Wow, can't believe we pulled that Mega Charizard. Awesome. All right, let's keep going. Burning Sky. So wow, this is a great opening so far. And so now these both were from the, I believe from the yeah the three pack one one, and we haven't even looked at the promo card yet. So that was definitely a. Uh, Great gift right there. Okay, Mega Turbo. Shell Gun. Wide Lens. Swablu. Pido. Baggin. Taylor. Electric. Ooh, a Nat 2. And a Carbink. So the tin off to a slow start, especially after such a a great great start. Okay, peaking red card, mill tank, Hakamo, a little in Geodude, Stuffle, Pumpkaboo, Staryu, Dino, Melotic, nice. And Reggie Rock. Okay, so we can grab one more. Oh, oh yeah, this is Sun and Moon. All right, Melodic. Uh, not bad. I feel like uh, Melodic. I, I feel like that could have been like a cool, a cool Pokemon. Um, at least when it came out in Pokemon Go, it, it didn't. It didn't have as much. You know, it's kind of like the the new Magikarp, but I feel like it didn't really do that. It didn't have the same flair to it. Darkness Energy, Sweeping Bell, Mass Royal, Cory Corio, Beldum, Welmer, Spinarak, Larvitar, Slate Golf, really weird card, Gorbis, another one that I can't say I'm all that familiar with, and Registeel. Ah, these guys are. I, I'm curious what the. Actually, I'm not sure if there's ever much of a story behind like the legendaries, but like the whole Reggie Rock, um, Regis, Regis Steel. Um, I just found them very strange. I feel like they didn't make a, they weren't that uh, very popular when they went for the legendary raids in Pokemon Go and that was when those were cycling through. Okay, last pack. Torchic. Slay Cough again. Shop it. Trico, Cacnea, Steven's Resolve, Reverse Hollow, and oh, Scissor, yes, Scissor, always, always a big fan of Scissor. Um, Scyther was really cool in uh, kind of like when Pokemon first came out, and Scissor, like, actually, I feel like his claw, like, um, like lobster hands are kind of weird, but I always thought he was really cool. Uh, this is just being evolution scissor and being metal type uh, it's very always really great okay so definitely the biggest hit was the mega charizard ex and for our promo although hard to beat that is a well all right it's okay <laughs> um all right so pretty good opening and now we're just going to talk a little bit about uh kind of like the first set that I went about obtaining when I started collecting again, and that is the the base set uh, PSA nine 
collection. And so the, I do feel like this is a, for me, super nostalgic set. Um, this was basically when I first became aware of Pokemon and Pokemon cards uh, was for this set. Um, so as far as like, nostalgia goes, this is um, as good as it gets for me. And obviously the big hit would be the Charizard. Uh, and, and one thing, I, I think it's really this, um, you know, base set PSA 9 collection. Uh, obviously like 8's a little more easier to get, but however I do think that the PSA 9 set is relatively, um, for something as old, you know, as from 1999, is uh, not too, not not that expensive. A lot of the cards, I would say a majority of them, uh, you can get for like $20 or so. In fact, I think most of these I did get for that price. Uh, I think the, so actually we'll just go through real quick. The Blastoise, obviously, actually all the starters ones are a bit more, obviously the Charizard. Um, you have, like on auction, you can get it for like less than 150. Uh, but, so that one's obviously pretty expensive. But the rest of them, not so much again. I think most of them I got for less than 30. And, you know, a lot of these take me back to, uh, you know, just growing up and exploring all the cards where we didn't even know all the different hollows. So, like, when a friend or a cousin uh, showed us the different hollows they had, you know, they were, it was like brand new to us in each one. And then going, looking through the powers, like, we didn't play the actual game a lot, but we would take a look at them and try to figure out, like, which ones are really strong and so I feel like this is a great uh, you know if, if anyone's interested in starting a collection this would be a great place to start uh, as far as like is this something to invest in I, I kind of feel like if a lot of these cards are still you know obtainable for like less than thirty dollars it's kind of like unlikely they'll continue to go up very aggressively but you know for something like this I don't think that's really the point um, and yeah, just looking through these uh, is always just a really nice thing to do uh, for something so old and something so memorable. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna end my end my rambling on that. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, the highlight, the biggest hit would be the Mega Charizard EX, um, and we'll leave it at that. So thanks for watching guys, if you want to support the channel please like the video and subscribe for future content and I'll see you guys next time, later.